Once in a classroom of students, there was a boy named Carl. Now he was a smart boy and an intelligent boy, but he would goof off and disturb the class also. So once the teacher decided to punish him. What did he say? He said to Carl that go in a corner and tell me the sum of first hundred numbers. So the teacher thought that Carl would calculate this and take a lot of time doing this and would not disturb the class. But as soon as the teacher gave him this problem, just after a few minutes, he thought to tease him and asked him, have you finished? And Carl said yes, he had finished and he gave the answer quickly, 5050. But the teacher was surprised. How did Carl do that? And that's so, so quickly. Now the teacher, he counted on the numbers, spending the 10 next minutes on it. And he found out that the answer Carl gave was correct. But how did Carl do that? Well, we will see how did Carl do this. But do you know that this Carl became a famous mathematician, Carl Goss. Now let's see how did Carl do this. Well, he thought that if he wrote these numbers from 1 to 100 like this and then added it back with the reverse of these numbers. You can see what is he doing. Writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on in this manner. And he adds them with the reverse of it. Right? 900, 99, 98 and so on. So what will you get? 1 plus 100, 101. 2 plus 99, again 101. 3 plus 98, 101 and so on will give you 101. See? So that means if I add this side with this side, each and every term will give me the same answer here. So he applied this method. So if we take the n as number of terms, what have we to find out? The sum of first 100 natural numbers. So let the number of terms be n, right? So here the number of terms is what, 100? We have to find out the uh, sum of 100 natural numbers. So here n is 100. So if n is 100, then n plus 1 is 101. That we are getting in this, see, 101. So if n is 100, n plus 1 is 101. Now you could see that what are we doing? We are calculating the sum of 1 to 100 and we are adding it again from the sum that is 100 to 1. That is the same thing adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or adding 100, 99, 98 till 1 will give you the same answer. So adding S plus S gives you what? 2S. So 2S means what? 100, 99, 98, 97 and so on till 3, 2, 1 added with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 98, 99, 100. So on like this. Or if you add them together, what did you see? 100 plus 1, 101. 99 plus 2, 101. Same thing. So 2s is 101, 101, 101. Added with himself. How many times? Well, 100 times. Have a look. This added with reverse of this. How many times? 100 times. So you can write this like this. 2s is equal to 101, 101, how many times? 100 times. So if we say 2 added with itself 3 times means 2 into 3. So 101 added with itself 100 times means what? 101 into 100. So I can say 2s, that is 2, that is sum doubled will give you 101 into 100. Or now if I want to know only the sum, what can I do? I can shift this to this side. So 101 into 100 by 2. So actually without adding all this, just doing 101 into 100 by 2 gives me the answer. See, this is how Carl actually calculated this. Right? So Carl said that the answer was 5,050. 5, so if we derive this into a formula, what can you see? If the number of terms we had to find out was n, and n was 100, so n into n plus 1, that is 101, divided by 2, gave us the sum. 
So we can use this formula to find out the sum of n numbers. See, n plus 1 into n or you can write this as n into n plus 1 by 2. This is known as the sum of n natural numbers. So instead of counting it on your fingers, you can just use this formula and find out the uh, sum of first n natural numbers. Now this n can be anything, 9, 10, 50, 70, 100, 200 and so on. So now if I ask you to find out the sum of first 500 natural numbers, can you find it out for me? Well, you know that you need to do something like this, where sum of this is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on till 500. Now it is better not to do this on number on fingers as you will take a lot of time. So we will use that formula which we have just derived. Which is sum of n natural numbers or first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. So in this case what is n? In this case n is 500. So the sum will be 500 into n plus 1 that means what? 500 plus 1 by 2. Calculate this. You will get 1,25,250. So instead of counting this, we could just put in the formula and find out the sum of first 500 natural numbers. In this way, you can find out the sum of first n natural numbers, where sum will be n into n plus 1 by 2.